Establishing a sense of urgency for change is as important as getting employee buy-in because that's where the energy comes from. And I remember when I took over 3M back 20 years ago and the company wasn't performing, but they thought they were performing. So how to create a burning platform to get everybody going was a challenge. And in this case, I had to confront the leadership team with the reality of our performance that they didn't want to believe was happening, which wasn't very good. And so this was sort of a one conference room at a time effort where I put together five or six charts and I actually tried to convince them, and I eventually did convince them, that their underperformance and their lack of competitiveness was in stark contrast to the image they had of themselves in the company. This can happen in different ways, but I had to win the battle one conference room at a time, and that's sometimes the way it goes. And it, there's no shortcuts to establishing this kind of sense of urgency. After establishing this sense of urgency with the team, then getting it down to the other 90,000 employees is in many ways a more challenging task. It can't just be me making a speech to the other 90,000 employees. I have to have won the battle with the team so they carry the message down. Because if I go over the top and they don't really believe, my message is diluted significantly. I really relied on them as a test of whether I'd won the battle with them, how they were gonna communicate down through the organization. In some cases, I trusted but verified. In other words, I went with them. In other cases, I relied on them. But we all agreed that that was as important, if not more important, than the actual realization that we had a big job in front of us. As I look to the future, a few things that future leaders have to do better than what was required of us. There has to be an element of technology in your background. There's just too much change that's technologically driven. You don't have to be an electrical engineer with a computer science doctorate, but you have to have a working knowledge because things like AI and digitization, additive manufacturing are all a big part of what's in the future for most businesses. So you have to have a working knowledge there. I think the other thing is you have to be able to handle politics. There's a blurring of the political environment and business that didn't exist before. And being able to handle that requires a different skill set. And you have to have some experience with it. The third thing I would mention is that the human relations function is even more important going forward than has been historically. Because individuals face such change, they're buffeted by the speed of change, whether it's technology, globalization, all these things. And so staying focused on them, their progress, their well-being, how they're handling things, what their career path might be, is even more important going forward than it has been in the past.